welcome to the engine markets uh, training session uh, so meanwhile others are joining in uh, we would uh, start with our session so essentially uh, uh, today's topic is, is going to be all the export in uh, you know pdf powerpoint and even excel so that we can use this exportable functions uh, so in this you know uh, slide you can see the exportable functions where we will be uh, you know downloading some functions and making some customized reports and then we will head into the q a sessions where you can ask the questions and we will try to address them up so i hope my uh, screen is visible to everyone and my voice is audible uh, so that uh, we can start with our session if if not please let me know in the chat box uh, and i will uh, you know uh, address the issue so let's go ahead uh, with our terminal so let me just get back uh, from this slide to my terminal altogether so i hope this is visible to every one of you all and uh, yeah so again if you see the you know markets tab in the engine where we have certain uh, overview where you can compare multiple sets of indices so we are going to cover some basic topics here but that we can export all the data sets in excel and how we can make a customized report here so uh, let's say we are comparing certain indices so how do we compare these indices in one single uh, go so let's say our date is uh, 2005 right so you can change the date from here and easily you can actually uh, you know select certain set of indices like nifty 500 or maybe you know in the indian equity sectors like bsc sectors like bsc funds or some other sectors and even world equity markets here so essentially you can rebase this thing up and then you can download this uh, data set in a csv so to download this data set in csv all you have to do is click on this you know button and that gets downloaded in one single tab so let me just show you this excel how this turns out to be as a data set so that you can actually compare multiple sets of indices in one single tab so here as you can see there are a couple of you know uh, uh, data sets which we have uh, which starts from nifty 50 and dow and jones and you can compare it you know till the uh, till you know today so this is till today and you can actually have uh, you know the recent data set in one uh, you know overview so that's how one of the data sets we have another data sets what we cover here is uh, economic data for india now let's say you're looking towards uh, you know interest rate which is a quite important uh, parameter so you can see the history of it and you can download the interest rate history in one single excel so it's a very useful parameter and i will show you the excel how it turns out to be so this is how this looks like and it starts from the you know uh, to, from 2000s and it goes on till today so this is how the interest rate is for the economic data of india and essentially uh, you know you can use this data set in uh, many many you know uh, like uh, pdf reports and even like when you make a pdf report in a powerpoint so we will talk about that later when you create some uh, you know uh, powerpoint reports for your portfolios and even uh, the mutual funds so let's go ahead with another uh, tab which is called uh, called as fund selection so now fund selection is always uh, the biggest topic we have where we select funds and we want to know what kind of filtration we can do uh, on an engine and also on the excel so what we can do here is let's say we have already selected the criteria of certain you know asset class let's say we are looking only towards equities and what we can do is even in equities once we have selected there is a huge pool of data set and you would really want to know what kind of uh, parameters should be chosen so excel comes in handy because you can download the entire expo in excel this entire data set in excel and maybe you can you know make an average of one single parameter and choose only those funds which actually satisfies uh, that parameters above average uh, you know uh, na nature so uh, as an example what you can do is you can actually uh, select a singular column so let's say we select only basic columns as of now okay and once you select the basic basic columns uh, you will see only these data set uh, so these are the columns which are being selected and you can actually, uh, uh, you know, customize your column like sharp ratio and, you know, uh, any other parameters as well. So let's say we take into consideration sharp ratios of value at risk, implied value at risk and sort, you know, as well. 
and we will remove other parameters altogether. So I'm just giving you an example where you can actually select only those parameters which are actually required for your own research. Now, this is what your data set looks like. Now, what you can do here is you can download this entire, uh, you know, export in Excel. Now, before doing that, we can make our selection criteria, like a criteria of 5,000 crores minimum. We can make an age criteria as five years. We can make a minimum sharp ratio. Let's say, uh, you know, we consider 0 0.20 or we cannot select it at all. Maybe we can choose those funds which are actually having, uh, you know, a minimum return as 12% for the 10 year annualized. Now, this is a very good, uh, you know, uh, parameter where you can actually apply this, up, right? And you will see only these funds, only these funds which satisfies your, you know, uh, you know, filtration. Now, I'm, I have not chosen sharp ratio for a certain reason so that we can choose it again later down the line. But once we export this in Excel, now you can do lots of analysis there as well. Like, uh, you know, uh, as you know, Excel is one of the you know, most customizable uh, application. You can download this entire data set, which gets, uh, you know, into the Excel within one single tab. Now here, I'm just give, gonna give you an example how you can use this, uh, but the methodology and uh, different sets of you know uh, uh, methodology chosen by you can be on your perspective. Let's say we go ahead and calculate the average sharp ratio of uh, the you know entire data set which we have chosen, right? And it's pretty easy for us to calculate that. We just give an average here, right? And we just take into account this entire average of the data set. So this is what an average is 0 0.52. So what we are trying to achieve here is only those funds which are going to satisfy 0 0.52. So I'll just, you know, make this into a two decimal uh, format. So 0 0.53. And uh, then what we can do is we will just type, we will just come back and type in 0 0.53. So we apply, it, right? And these are the only funds which satisfies our criteria. Now, this is pretty huge. If you want to compare this all data set and add them to the compare section, there is one way you can just, you know, click all of them. And there is another set of way. You can just download it again and copy that in into the Excel. So we have given an ISIN number here, as you can see, just a moment. So once you see the ISIN number, this is what uh, an ISIN number looks like. Just one second, one minute. Just a second. Okay. So uh, as you can see, uh, you know, when it, whenever you download any data set in Excel uh, in the screener, we have given the ISIN number and that is very, very useful because if let's say you have chosen the top uh, five funds for your, you know, for downloading them and, you know, adding them to the compare section, all you can do is just, uh, you know, uh, add another, you know, tab here, just like this. And, uh, you know, just a moment. Yeah. So once you, uh, you know, add another tab, I'll just add it here. Right. And you can just add in one single symbol here, just like giving them equal weightages. So once you give them equal weightages here, you can copy that entire data set into the portfolio section and start analyzing as a portfolio. It's pretty useful because you can even, you know, add it into the portfolio section where we have an ISIN number here. You can uh, click on this, paste it here and then validate the input. Here you have the equal weightages of all the funds. You can, you know, run this as a hypothetical and you can actually, uh, you know, add them into the compare section. So easily funds are being added into the compare section and I can do the comparative analysis here itself based on what I have, you know, chosen as a criteria. It saves a lot of time. You can, uh, you know, work with larger data sets. You know, you can work with the entire asset classes just by one single click and a downloadable Excel button. So one important thing here is that uh, now we are in the compare section. There are a couple of things you can do here as well. You can download this entire data set in Excel as well. So this is also pretty useful. You know, you get the entire, you know, sets of, you know, relative column and even the, you know, holdings column and plus the return column just by downloading this entire, you know, data of all the mutual funds and not just mutual funds, but essentially any single, uh, you know, uh, index if you add in. Right. Just a matter of fact, I'm just going to add in an index here that also gets downloaded. So this is very, very useful if you want to download and then analyze them up into the Excel. So you can just click on Nifty 500 and it gets downloaded in Excel. 
So, uh, you know, that's how this works out. Uh, we can, you know, go ahead with rolling analysis. Now, even in rolling analysis, we have given an Excel button. Now, how do we use this? You know, so, uh, I have seen uh, this has been implemented by some of the advisors. So what you can do is if you're making a customized report, right? So you can use this rolling tab to actually add them into a Word file. Now, this is where a, a customizable report where you can add in your own logo and on, your own research and actually make it uh, to send it to a, to a client. Let's say we have a criteria of fund selection, right? We can choose, uh, you know, let's say all the small caps in one place and we can add them into the rolling analysis. So once we do the rolling analysis, we have certain data sets uh, where it will be useful to understand that in a simple returns, if we take into account consideration of the, all these funds, these are the funds which have been, you know, 80, so these which have been into the positive, which have actually backtested, uh, you know, more than 0% of the return uh, from uh, 2014 till 2022, every day for a one year period, right? And this is an annualized methodology. So you can download this data set and also this entire set of graph in a PNG image. So I'm just going to download this and I can download this data set in Excel and paste it into a singular word file as your own research. This is very, very useful. If I, uh, you know, if I want to post my own research and say that uh, there are a couple of funds which I, uh, you know, have researched and let's say SBI small cap is the fund I, you know, uh, really want to recommend then I can say that this fund, this particular fund is actually uh, has, uh, is the second best in uh, coming into positive uh, percentage. So I, I can highlight this, I can copy this and paste it into a word file. So I've already updated a word file here to show you a customized set of analysis. Just a moment. Yeah. So within the word file here, I can see you can just paste it here. So this is pretty useful. Uh, you know, as, as you can see, uh, this uh, makes your analysis uh, more customized and uh, more uh, more like you have done your proper set of research and then come you have uh, you know had a conclusion as to what kind of funds are you suggesting so there's a comparative research report in front of you and you can also add in the png image which we have downloaded so to add that image what all you have to do is just click on this pictures this device and you can add that image directly from the system so this is the chart we have added right so uh, it 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 is very, very useful uh, to make that set of reports and uh, to actually, uh, you know, bring in this reports in particular tab for you. So I'm just gonna, you know, uh, zoom this out. So as you can see, this is how this looks like, uh, you know, I'm just giving you a rough, uh, you know, uh, estimation as to how the reports can be done while uh, using uh, the Excel uh, button and also uh, the, you know, uh, downloading some of the, the uh, some of the images uh, from engine platform. It's very useful. Uh, let's go ahead with certain sets of another analysis, which is actually uh, position overlap. Now, position overlap is also very useful. And this can also be downloadable in Excel, right? You can download this entire data set in Excel and you can actually see that what are the overlap between the two funds. Right. So you can download this overlap. Let's say you're comparing only two funds, which is uh, Aditya Birla and Axis Small Cap, and you would definitely want to make a comparative, you know, report. So what you can do is you can just click on this, download this data set in Excel and use it in your, you know, Word file as well. This is also very useful uh, when you are making a customized uh, PPT, uh, customized uh, report altogether. So uh, just a moment, I just have uh, locked out. Okay. So, uh, you know, that's how this works for the customized report and uh, we can actually uh, do another sets of analysis for singular funds. So to go ahead with the singular funds, as we know, we can add multiple funds uh, from, uh, from this, my list. So you can click on any such fund and then, uh, you know, the analytics opens up. Once the analytics opens up, you can even download the NAV of that particular fund. So to download that, I'm just going to click in one single fund. Uh, and here you can see, uh, based on the benchmark, uh, you know, you can see this, uh, you know, start date. So what you can do is you can download the price returns as CSV. So you can just click on this prices, right? And every single mutual fund analytics we have, we have already given the price and the return set of every single, you know, assets, uh, you know, every single securities we have given. So as a matter of fact, you can see the price and returns and they are being, uh, you know, calculated here itself. 
So you can easily download that, them up and use it for your own customized set of analysis if you have multiple sets of mutual funds comparison, if you want to do it in Excel. So this is one uh, you know, parameter which can be used. And let's go ahead with the seamless uh, you know, report. So if you want to make a seamless report, you can just click on this PDF report for any fund. So you can just click on this three pager report. Uh, so there are essentially three types of PDF reports. One is a one pager, two pager and a three pager. A three pager gives you the entire comprehensive view of the analytics, which you have selected. So here you can see the entire, you know, uh, latest NAVs and, you know, all the asset allocation, top holdings, and even the, uh, even the performance of the fund. So uh, every single thing based on the relative performance, you can see the up captures and the down captures as well. This is being updated into the you know PDF uh, reports. So uh, you can also you know uh, use this uh, as a matter of fact. Uh, whenever you know, so the analytics is very dynamic. So this dynamic analytics helps you to get into uh, this. Uh, just uh, one minute. I think I just locked out again. So this dynamic analytics uh, gives you, uh, you know, uh, the ability to actually only highlight those particular things, which is uh, useful. For an example, if I load in a fund, right? So once you load in a fund, all you have to do is, uh, you know, uh, you can zoom in particular set of areas, like uh, maybe like drawdowns, right? And you just want to highlight this area, right? Only this area. What you can do is once you highlight this, you can directly download that PDF report and that is pretty useful. And that makes a lot of sense when you, uh, you know, want to uh, make a single set of, uh, you know, analysis in the PDFs. So uh, this is how this works out, works out for, you know, downloading any PDF reports altogether. Uh, let's go ahead with uh, generating the PowerPoint report for any single fund. So if I generate a PowerPoint report, what I can do is I can just click on that, you know, button. PowerPoint button, which will help you to uh, download any PowerPoint report for any fund. So all I have to do is just click on this and that actually gets, uh, you know, downloaded into the system. Uh, this is also useful for the portfolio analytics. We can, uh, you know, jump around in portfolio analytics just by exploring this, but to, uh, you know, to give you a comprehensive view of, you know, one single fund PowerPoint report, you can actually use this with your, you know, Excel because there are certain data sets which you would like to add uh, with the access mid cap, maybe you can, you would like to show the position overlap with other mid cap funds and, and then show the comprehensive view of this entire, uh, you know, uh, fund for this particular, uh, you know, report. So you can see here that essentially every single, you know, report is, ex uh, you know, editable, every single uh, chart is editable. And I will just give you an overview here that let's say if you just want to uh, talk about position concentration for uh, top five and top 10. Right. So you don't have to use only, uh, you know, top three, top five, or maybe, you know, all of them, all you have to do is just select the data set. So edit data and you can select the data set of those concentration, which you want to actually show. So that's how you can edit it up. So that is how editable it is. It has been the question by many advisors that how to actually, uh, you know, uh, show only those data set, which is required. This is how you can use this data sets all together. Even in the, in this chart, if you want to show only certain sectors that is edi easily editable. So these are all the things, uh, you know, you can do in a PowerPoint and essentially you can also copy this data set. Let's say I want to show this, this statistics in my, uh, you know, uh, in my word document, what I, what I have to do is I just have to come in here in my word document and I just have to paste it in the system. So that's how, you know, I can, you know, just add it in the system and, uh, you know, you can actually do this just a moment. Yeah. So that's how I can add it in the system and actually run my rolling analysis. So it's pretty useful if I am suggesting one single fund, maybe an access mid cap or a small cap fund. And this data set is actually a, a, a data, which is been added through the PowerPoint. So. Uh, you can uh, definitely use this PowerPoint buttons, even, even a portfolio analytics that can be added. You can change the data set graph and colors and everything and make your own set of reports so that you can, uh, you know, uh, generate it and share it with your clients. Uh, these are the, you know, couple of things that is usable, uh, you know, through PowerPoint reports. It's a pretty underrated function, as you all know. 
uh, every single data point is downloadable here you can just copy that and you know use it in your own uh, particular set of reports so that's how this works out uh, for the powerpoints as well right and uh, let's uh, you know go back into our portfolio analytics where uh, we can use this same parameters like powerpoint but in a capital form uh, what do i mean by capital form is like let's say we have a couple of model portfolios we can load in one single model portfolios right uh, so this is our model portfolio we have loaded and we have intended to you know uh, uh, actually uh, make an investment through this model portfolio this is just a basic model portfolio uh, now what we are trying to achieve here is to uh, show a powerpoint report based on the capital allocation so i'm just going to load in another set of model portfolio okay uh, so accordingly uh, once we are done with this we can actually generate uh, the portfolios uh, portfolio reports based on the powerpoint so once this gets loaded up you can click on this and there are two sets of reports that can be generated one is a you know ppt report and another is a capital based report so a capital based let's say you have a client who wants to invest uh, 50 lakhs of the corpus in this particular model portfolio you can create a ppt of this and based on the allocation it will show you the entire sets of you know data and the analytics and the graphs in the form of uh, you know excel which is uh, save which you can save and edit and then you know uh, share it with the client it's one of the most useful function uh, at engine uh, while making reports where you can write a proper name set you can change the you know entire uh, you know report structure here and uh, that's how this looks like like uh, for an example it shows that you know my position concentration is 13.94% uh, 13.94 lakhs sorry in lakhs so in lakhs for 20% of the concentration and you can even see for a you know mid cap exposure my 17.99 lakhs is in mid cap so it is very useful to you know talk about in lakhs and crores and even in thousands because this uh, makes a more relatable uh, you know concept for your own clients instead of having uh, an allocation like you know percentage allocation so instead of you know uh, talking about there is a 30% allocation in dsp small cap you can talk about there is a 15 lakh allocation in dsp dsp small cap and essentially even the exposures are shown in lakhs and you know uh, thousands and lakhs so this is very useful if you want to use this particular function and then we have already got some you know analytics you know based on the benchmark you choose uh, some rolling analysis for the entire portfolio and even the drawdowns now this is very useful if, if you want to use the drawdowns i have you know couple of times i have used this drawdowns uh, you know drawdown graph and the stats to make my own portfolio you know own own uh, research report you can copy that and you know use it in your uh, in your own sets of analysis so that's how this works out and by the way you will you already have your company logo here so it's a premium co-branded report which helps you to you know give a proper business uh, pitch book so uh, that is how this is uh, and let's go back into our system again so we are going to and fro with our system to show you the you know customizable approach at engine one important thing here is that if uh, if we go back to the compare to portfolios now this is useful because you you do want to compare portfolios and do some you want to do some certain set of excel based analysis based on the portfolio navs now what engine does is it actually calculates uh, the rebase prices of the portfolio just by giving the allocation to any security either it's a uh, you know equity equity mutual fund debt mutual fund or even the stocks which you add into the system so what you can do is you can you know add the, the two portfolios into the compare section and uh, you know analyze them side by side and create a pdf report one is one uh, part here is to create the pdf report so i'm just gonna use a prospective client here right so a prospective client has been added here in the system just a moment okay so yeah so that is how, that is where the prospective client is and you can add in your own model portfolio uh, in the system uh, again as well so you know just just a moment i'll just add in the model portfolio and that's uh, you know get added into the system okay uh, so uh, once you have done this uh, you can actually uh, you can actually make a, a pdf report so i'm just going to show you the pdf report again uh, and add in the capital and rupees just like the powerpoint a pdf can also show like let's say 50 lakhs of your investment is going into this particular portfolios so uh, you can just make a standard pdf report to make an action plan as to where 
uh, the you know capital allocation is uh, to be uh, given so here you can see accordingly uh, you know this is what the portfolio composition is uh, so that i think i have just clicked on just a moment i think just uh, okay yeah so So once you uh, make a certain sets of you know uh, comparative reports, uh, you can use it uh, you know as a, a capital allocation. I'm just gonna you know uh, add in uh, random portfolios right now to show you the you know comparison. And the once the comparison is made, you can download uh, this data set in Excel. So for the Excel, all you have to do is just click on this and uh, it gets downloaded and uh, why this is useful because both the nav which is calculated on uh, you know our system gets downloaded so that is what you can see uh, this is one portfolio we have which starts with a rebase uh, with 100 and it ends uh, ends up to the till the date of today so you can actually use this to you know data set to compare in excel as well uh, very very useful uh, if you want to do a comparative uh, you know portfolio analytics in excel uh, if you have certain set of methodology to compare you know make some uh, you know moving average analysis on the portfolios that you can do directly into this particular excel uh, function so that's how this works out and what i was talking about was the create pdf button so for the create pdf button i will just show you in the downloads i think it might have downloaded just a moment i i guess So uh, for the you know PDF reports, uh, what you can do is you can uh, use this uh, you know PDF reports uh, by just adding the capital allocation. Uh, for adding the capital allocation, uh, you can directly use a you know conservative or any any strategies here in the place, and you can add another portfolio and then make a PDF report. So I have uh, you know. Uh, just clicked on the standard PDF. Instead of clicking on the standard PDF, you have to click on a go to add in the capital allocation and click go. Once you click go, that is where uh, you can see the capital allocation uh, being updated into the PDF reports. So that is what you can see that instead of investing two of the 25 lakhs and 25 lakhs into the two, two strategies, you can invest this amount of money in, in the other mutual funds altogether. So this is how this works out. It's just an overview of what you can do and you can download this in, uh, in the PDF format. So that is what it is uh, for the entire session. Uh, so we have actually completed the session for the gist of what you can do with using excel powerpoint and even the pdf seamless pdfs which can be downloaded in at engine uh, and uh, you can actually uh, you know take in the data sets uh, make a customized report and you know use it uh, to uh, research, to to you uh, to publish your research reports uh, basically on any any single asset classes maybe debt or equity or even even uh, even the stocks as well so it's pretty useful altogether and we can start with the q and a um, so are there any questions? I think there are a couple of questions on the chat section, so you can probably start. Yeah. With that. Yeah. So uh, there are a couple of questions like, uh, can we do a basic analysis of entire mid cap alone or only one fund of a segment? Uh, no, you can actually do the, you know, a basic analysis of entire mid cap alone. All you have to do is just go into the fund section, right? Uh, uh, compare section and you can just add in the SEBI category of mid cap. So, you know, directly all the mid caps get added, gets added into the system. And you can see all the parameters like return columns, relative column, and even the holdings column uh, in one single, uh, you know, go. Once this is onloaded, all you have to do is just uh, click on this, uh, you know, any any parameter, and that's how you can do a, a basic set of analysis uh, to uh, to actually uh, compare the mid caps. And you can also add in uh, one single, uh, you know, benchmark to actually uh, make the relative column more uh, relatable, so that you can uh, analyze and analyze and see what kind of correlation you are having against those funds and the uh, and the mid cap fund and yeah, the mid -cap, hi, uh, uh, this is this is i don't know one more thing i'll add here is that it's quite useful to have this relative column section because as you can see all the mid caps are being compared to 
as a benchmark to nifty mid cap 100 so that way you get a uh, correct comparison done uh, instead of having different benchmarks for different funds even if they're in the same category so this is quite useful and also uh, umair if you could just load any one fund because i think they also ask can we analyze a single fund just in case they haven't seen it so that's the single analytics page. Uh, we won't obviously go through all of it right now, but please, um, you can search for any fund or just click on the link. Okay, there's another question um, saying, can we get data on GSEC rates and repo rates? Um, we don't have this data yet, um, but uh, I believe, uh, I think I, I think we have one person on the team looking for it. Um, if we do get some fixed income data, it will show up on the market screen. Um, so currently these things are not shown. We have some economic data, which you might find useful on the right-hand side. Um, you can go through these. Uh, we have them not just for India, but also for other countries. Um, but I don't think we have GSEC or repos. Um, yeah. But um, hopefully they, sh they should come soon. Um, there is another question saying overlap analysis can be done between how many number of funds, same category, different categories. Yes. So can we go to the uh, compare section? So let's just go to overlap. So here, again, as you can see in the, uh, you know, you can make any list that you want. Right now, what we've done is we've just added all the mid cap funds into this list. You can actually delete five of them and add five large cap funds here or five debt funds here, whatever you want. You can create this list as you please. And once you've created this list, you just simply go to the position overlap um, uh, tab and uh, that will show you the overlap between those mutual funds. Now, in terms of how many number of funds, um, that really typically depends uh, you know, on the speed of your connection, also on the speed of your PC. Lots of these calculations are done on the front end, which means it uses the RAM of your computer. Um, but, uh, you know, ideally, you know, if you do more than 30, 40, 50 funds, um, it starts to slow down. And plus, it's also a little bit harder to then uh, kind of look at the matrix also. As you can see, even here, we have to scroll. Um, by the way, uh, just, just so you know, there is an Excel download of this. If you do actually want to do uh, a large number of funds, you will have to wait for the system to calculate. You might get a, a pop-up message from... Uh, Chrome saying, do you want to kill the site or wait? So you should always click on wait and let it complete. But you can get this data in Excel also if you want to analyze it properly uh, uh, on your own. Um, okay, so there's another session saying in the fund section, from fund section to come please allow multiple fund selection tick box instead of one by one. Um, so actually, you see the way this works, it's, it's, it's basically a tick box anyway, because here, as soon as you click on that icon, the work is done. So just click on one, uh, okay. that's it. That's all you have to do. Um, so to multi-select, you just click more. Uh, so even if we did a checkbox like this, uh, it's the same thing. You're going to have to click on each one uh, anyway. Um, the reason we haven't got to uh, add all button to the fund screener, uh, okay, let's go back to the screener again, is because this can have many funds, right? Right now it's showing the top 50 on the filter. Like if you go top 300 or something, um, you know, adding 300 funds to the compare section will really, really slow it down. Um, and it, I would say it's probably not going to help with your work. Um, so that's the reason we don't have a, you know, um, uh, add all button. But to add any fund, you just need to click on the compare icon once. Okay, so can you help understand once again, how do we check that a single stock is held by all AMC? Yeah, um, so holding analysis and then equity. Uh, um, okay, no, so, uh, yeah, and then equity holdings, yeah. So just type any stock in here. If it doesn't appear on the list, that means in the latest holding right now, no one is holding that stock, no more mutual fund. And so you can see Adani Enterprises is held by these mutual fund, regardless of category. Um, now, the second question, as well as common stocks held by AMCs, if you want to do this analysis, you need to go to stock changes. So this is a very, very useful section. It will take too long to go through it all, but you'll get the idea. So, you know, here you can actually see which is the stock that is held 
most by mutual funds. But please be aware that this is only looking at equity mutual funds. In the top left, you can see the drop down, right? Uh, here it's saying analyze check funds only within the asset class of equity. So these are the ones, and you can see it in the um, case of uh, crores also. What is that percentage value there? What is the uh, so, so percentage means percentage holding. So this is taking the average percentage holding across all mutual funds. Just click on it once, Umay. So here you can see, sir, regardless of the AUM of the fund, someone could be holding 19%, but that AUM is very small, right? So, okay. um, so um, yeah, if you just want to see the, uh, how much you know in crores AMCs have uh, invested, then you've got to you know use the value button on the top um, because this will say how much money is into that stock from the mutual fund industry and has been. So you can see ICICI Bank sixty five lakh crores was invested last year September, and by now uh, that number has grown, right? So. Um, and if you do percentage, then that is the average percentage holding across all mutual funds that are in the equity asset class. Okay. Um, okay, there's another question. Sir. How to get data for any fund as on a particular date? Um, uh, it depends on what data you want. If you just want to look at returns, you can go to the point to point section. Um, there you can basically look at anything anywhere. Um, yeah, so you can just put any kind of start date, end date, you'll get a return over a certain period of time. Uh, but if you want to get historical information uh, in terms of NAV, that's very simple. If you launch any fund, um, uh, yeah, there you go. If you launch any fund, you can download the data and you can obviously look up the date. And finally, if you want to see historical holdings of a fund, you go to asset allocation. Um, and here you can go to position changes over time. Okay, so that's the NAV. Position changes over time, and um, here, okay, let's go through this. Yeah, there you, you have an Excel download of this also. This is a historical holdings by security if you want to do it, and you will get all the data in here. Cash upload, um, yes, we do. So portfolio section, um, uh, you can go uh, add a new portfolio. We have several different methods. So for the CAS upload, this is a CAS summary PDF um, that, uh, the, yeah, you can just, this is the format. You put in your password and you upload and uh, whatever, a, whatever funds it recognizes, it will um, immediately add in, in this white box. And then you can continue with your uh, analysis. Uh, just so you know, we are also um, hoping to release uh, some point in the next one or two months um, an improved version of the CAS upload functionality. Currently, it can only read the summary files. Um, so hopefully the new one will also be able to read the detailed files. So, but right now you can upload CDSL, NSDL or CAMS, but only the summary statement, which has the latest holding only. Aruna, I would like to ask one question. Sure. When we go into the fund section, yeah. And we filter a category called mid caps, for an example. Okay. Just uh, filter the category mid cap. Yeah. Or any uh, that's it. So here the ratios means basic uh, risk columns which you show. Yeah. So the risk column. So here uh, sharp ratio is shown. Mm -hmm. Whereas when you show the columns only sorting noise is shown. Uh, uh, sorry, when uh, when is only sorting noise shown? Ha, yes, only sorting noise shown in basic columns. Um, so in basic columns, we don't show sorting noise ratio because it's a slightly less used um, statistic. Um, so uh, you know, if you want, what you can do is use this yeah, exactly. You can use this and uh, just select sorting noise. Now sorting will show, and if you like this view, you just call it something. And you save this view. So next time you don't have to do all this messing around with columns. Um, so so may I save this as view one, right? So next time you come, you just click on view one, and only those columns that you saved as view one, they will load. Okay. Right. So now and you see Sortino is there. Okay, I got it. 
and when we uh, filter a category of any dead segment the uh, entire dead segment if you filter it yeah. remove the equity and uh, uh, s- select a particular amc let's say birla Fine. amc yeah to understand the dead what is the ytm and all that yeah you may can make the top 300 a little less otherwise it will uh, take time and time so now uh, it's okay it's yeah. red column is fine now see the list shows this way mbsl liquid fund growth insti and all these funds are repeated several right. times right 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 okay so can that be uh, sorted yes, out yes 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 i think uh, you know anything that can be recognizable i can so i just want to confirm from you that this in institutional retail you don't want to see this right so uh, basically uh, it will be mostly gro- uh, retail growth only yeah or growth uh, option only okay fine uh, so, okay fine we will we will try to devise a way to get take these out of the list fine understand understand yeah. that's it from my okay thank you uh, so there was another question uh, yeah. basically uh, can we analyze existing clients holdings um yes definitely i mean you can uh, yeah, if you're connected with your rta connection uh, you'll be able to see your rta data here um as soon as you click on the uh, client holdings you see the client portfolio in front of you and then if you want to do portfolio analytics on engine you can click on that it will take that client portfolio r- run analytics for you immediately and then um, you know you can print a pdf the powerpoint report you've seen uh, all of these things you can do and if at all we want to toggle it out between two windows we cannot I means if we want to see something from fund section as well as compare section uh you mean side by side can be open ha huh? side by side um there's only one thing you can do side by side is you can have a, a single fund analytics in a new window that will work um it any open in new window only if i click yeah. that Yeah I mean if you search if you search for it inside the application then it will open on the same window um but um yeah so we so are one, unable to toggle between two things which we want so one side is client side other yeah. side is compare side then uh, then we had to manage right um we can try to think i mean here if you if you load something in the compare section and use the left menu to go up and down that should work but you won't be able to see it side by side so uh, if you can sort it out some way where we can toggle it out here and there understand. sometimes we need that uh, side by side okay understand is that possible um see in terms of toggle you mean you see one thing and then you see the next one right right um, right so right now you have to select them from the left menu right so right we are in the compare section now and mm-hmm. we can just go to the client section um so we may just go up and down a couple of times so this is possible right um uh, would you like to toggle in some different way i will unable to explain it but then it is difficult um okay i mean we can uh, try and see if uh, you know opening it on two different windows might be hard because the same application won't open it last to the lot two tabs you know uh, it opens in a separate tab in the same window but on the different tabs so that we can uh, that, that happens no if you open that fun, that fund mm-hmm. uh, if you click that fund in that compare section whatever four five ones are there if you click whichever yeah. is of your interest it will open in another tab anyway yes yeah like this yes so that is one single fund you know when we see a group i in the group also the first can be group this is a group only now there are so many are there this and then you go to the client section only thing is you selecting the tabs from our end rather than the on google chrome sir i have one input here yeah. if you can use the share link right copy Haan, this that's right. and paste that, it here that, there you go the umair has come up with the solution he's right he's absolutely right yeah there you go you have the so portfolio now... here you create the share link for yourself mm-hmm. 
yes right? and you compare so it here so yes. so that's how you can do it yeah if you have two monitors you can put one on this side one on this side no no we are pure mfd not an artist no no sir monitors are very cheap nowadays very cheap <laughs> taken um, yeah that is the, the this the way to do it okay there was another question sir uh, from rohit murthy uh, is it possible to analyze clients holdings without rt connection so um, yeah uh, go ahead everything is going so it it is possible uh, you know all you have to do is add in the cas pdf or maybe ison from excel add in the client portfolio here and run the analytics uh, here in the system as well so you can analyze any client's portfolio uh, without even an rt connection uh, and even uh, even you can see the entire asset allocation and all the stuffs here so you can uh, directly do that as well and yes uh, for the direct plans you can uh, you know add in the icens so adding the icens is the most accurate way uh, so once you add the icens we capture all the plans so if you if you edit this right uh, just a moment i'll just add in uh, i send from excel and i can just type in let's say access mid cap uh, direct now you can see access mid cap direct is also added into the system and you can make the portfolio of only the direct funds and the regular funds and run the analytics now you can see the direct fund is with the regular fund and you can uh, do the performance analytics and also the asset allocation analytics against uh, you know uh, in this particular portfolio tab Okay, my question is: I mean, um, I have been attending these sessions uh, for a long time, but uh, now in the last about a month, I didn't receive any notification. So, did the sessions happen, and uh, I missed it, or uh, you know, sessions did not happen? If they didn't happen, it is fine. If I am getting missed, and maybe then you know, my name should be included in the distribution. Uh, sure so all the sessions uh, you know have been uh, you know uh, conducting on the same day friday 4 o'clock so i will check with our uh, data system uh, and i will connect with you as well personally so that we can uh, personally send you the link and also uh, our data system where your email is included uh, right. so i have noted down your name sir uh, and we will uh, be, we will be in touch with you so that you can attend the webinars uh, effectively and also we have also also have this youtube demos and training so you can just click on this and you know uh, view all the you know all the demo sessions which are even including today as well uh, today we will be you know taking the entire recording and then adding them into the uh, you know channel so you can view that if it is visible for you uh, so hopefully that would solve your issue sir yeah you know, anything i miss i go there but uh, i as much as possible i would like to because i uh, at least seek some clarifications so i would like to attend whenever the session is there whenever i have time uh, but uh, I, so. i used to get regularly it's only last 3 or 4 weeks i have not received and it's just that yesterday i got the mail and today i was able to join so definitely you put, sir your, uh, um, put your uh, email address here we'll just recheck double check that your email address is in the okay. list so okay. we'll, um someone's asking for pricing um sir could you just uh, give your number and um, and uh, mr atul mishra and someone from the team will contact you Sure, Atul sir. We will get in touch with you via mail. Okay. Are there any questions?
it seems like there aren't any questions uh, so we can wrap this session up uh, we will uh, have another session next friday 4 o'clock tentatively same time uh, and uh, we will update all of you um, so thank you so much for attending the session uh, and uh, have a nice weekend uh, thank you everyone